Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm up in Sophie's room. We're just cleaning it up. We had a terrifying experience last night. We had an intruder in Sophie's room. Yeah, it was room. crazy. We were up half the night and I'm gonna tell you guys about it. Okay, I like so. I smell a dog. Okay, so here's the story. You like the smell of dog? Yeah weird speaking of dogs i'm dying for a dog i'm absolutely dying for a dog i miss having macy around someone said like you didn't do anything with her so why do you miss her but that's so not true like we don't video a lot at night and at night macy was never out of my arm she was in my bed with me she cuddled with me every time i sit on the couch she's on my she's with me the only time she's not with me is when we're like in the barn or outside and lots of times she's with me outside but not this winter um but just, she's with me when we're not filming horses. She's not around the horses. So it seems like she's not, that we didn't do anything with her. But she's a lap dog. She's like a cuddle dog. She's like a, a baby in our family. So she was always with me. Always with me. Except when we were doing horses. So just seems like that. But anyways. Oh, last night, we had an intruder. It was shocking. It was scary. Gabby slept through the whole thing. Well, she was awake, but she just laid in her bed. <laughs> she didn't help us. So, uh, last night, we were all sleeping. We're, I was almost asleep. It was hard for me to fall asleep last night. Were you asleep? Yeah, you were long asleep. I was asleep. This was like around 11 o'clock or 11.30? 11, 11, I think. 10? Okay. No, 11 something. Yeah, like it was late. So I was almost asleep. I was just sitting there, almost asleep. And then I heard noises. And then I heard Sam shouting. And then I'm like, what the heck is happening? So basically, he was downstairs watching TV. And he heard some running on the floor. Like, he just, he heard some running upstairs. And I heard that too, but I thought it was the dogs. And then he came running upstairs, ran into Sophie's room, and was screaming. So I jumped up and ran into Sophie's room. What was the first thing that you heard? I woke up to the screaming. You heard dad screaming? No. The rat. Oh, okay. So that, that, this is what happened. <laughs> the rat screamed. I was like, what the heck? So My alarm's not going off already. We had, I'm just going to tell you what we had and then explain it. We had an ermine in our house. It's an, it's this little tiny creature, kind of like a weasel, but really, really tiny. And it was an ermine and an ermine is, is, is the color. Ermine is a color. It's this white color. And are you bringing all your books in? No, she wants <laughs> me to read those. I need a shelf for them. All right. Well, let's get, let's build a shelf in your room. I'll get one at the anime convention. All right, let's do it. I want a shelf. All right, you want a yeah, shelf too? I want something better than that. You have a that. shelf. Yeah, that yeah. thing's on the verge of falling over. Yeah, that's not a good shelf. Okay, but I have more of those if you want a shelf like that, Gabby. You can even hang them up. I didn't brush my hair. Just today. like build one row of them. Inspiration, but I, right. I love most that people do, and they put the whole series on one part of the shelf. All right, well, Gabby's gonna um, get a bookshelf for her book. She likes, I read online and she, okay, we're getting distracted here. Okay, so picture it, you guys. <laughs> Sophie's sleeping here on her bed. I'm in my room. Sam comes running up because we hear screeching. We hear this screeching sound and it was because we had an ermine and it's this little white creature. I'll post pictures here of what it looks like. And it had caught itself a mouse in our house. So the ermine was in our house and a mouse was in our house. We live in a farmer's field. Our farm is like surrounded by corn fields. Our ermines are particularly vicious. So it came from Sophie's closet and it came across the floor with this big, huge mouse. It came from my closet? Yeah. We didn't tell you that last night because we wanted you to sleep. What the hell? So... It came from the basement up through the linen closet, through the vents, and into Sylvie's closet, and into her room. And it had this mouse, and it killed the mouse, and it the mouse it slit the mo the mouse's throat. That's how it killed it. And it was carrying the mouse into Sylvie's dresser, and it was going to eat it in there. It was going to eat the mouse in there. But we yeah. heard the mouse. It tried to go under my dresser. We heard the fighting, and so we came in. I came in. I sat here with Sophie. Me, actually, do you know who it was, Gabby? Do you know who was here to fight the ermine? 
Not Molly. N Molly! Molly was the one! Daisy was downstairs in her crate. Because Daisy can't hear. Oblivious. Ruby was in my room in her dog bed, oh, sound okay. asleep the whole entire time. She couldn't care less. But Ruby, it was Ru or it was Molly. Molly sitting there, then me, then Sophie way back up here. She tried to hide behind me. <laughs> I tried. Why did you tell Molly to get it? Us? We did tell Molly to get it, what but I was afraid. I was afraid it would bite her, and they say that I read something that Molly's said it could be poisonous. By a snake before. Okay, well, this is way more ferocious than a food. snake, let me tell you. It was ferocious. So, anyways, Sam pulled the drawers out of the dresser. So, he pulled the bottom one out, and that's where the, the mouse was laying that it had eaten. And it ran up into her dresser. So, we just sat there watching and waiting. And Sam thought it was a ferret. And I'm like, that is not a ferret. If but it was, it was ferret, so cute. we would have kept it. Yeah, like... I love ferrets. I know. Like, Sophie and I, literally, at first, it was peeking its head out of her dresser because it wanted us to leave so it could eat its mouse. And Sophie and I, at first, we were like, oh, a new pet for us because it was so cute. And then once we saw the teeth and how it grabbed that mouse and tried to drag it up into the Ow, dresser, we're like, nope, that's not for us. So well, one thing you guys don't know about ermines, or you might not know about ermines, is that even though it comes from the weasel family, they smell like skunks. They smell so bad if they get scared. If they get scared, they smell like skunks, and we scared that thing. And we're sitting here on the bed. We're just sitting here while Sam is trying to catch it. And... And we're like getting overpowered by the stink of this thing. It's like, it's like body odor on a whole other level. It just sprays this body odor smell out of its body. And we were just like gagging. It was disgusting. Anyways, we got rid of the mouse. Uh, Sam tried to catch him. He ran back into Sophie's closet and went back down in the basement. And we're like, oh gosh, what are we going to do? It was almost midnight by this time. And it was me and Molly and Sam and Sophie. And we were like, we were like the team to get I this thing. Oh yeah. What a great team. All I heard was, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> But at least we were there. Even laughing. <laughs> but at least we were there. Because came jumping towards us. I came jumping back. towards us. And then she tried to hide behind me. That all happened. So after it left, what we ended up doing was we went to bed and Sophie put up a cot. We have a cot and she put it up in our room. And so she slept in it our room. Because Yeah, but we were not letting her sleep in here because we knew I, I was going to sleep in We here. knew I was going to come back for its dinner. Like there's no doubt. So we went. So Sam set up a live trap in here. Um, he got rid of the mouse, but he put some chicken. I think he put chicken yeah. in it. And I'm like, you're not going to catch it because they're notorious for like evading traps. You're not going to catch it. And then we finally like settle down. We start to go back to sleep. Literally, it was so hard for me to fall asleep after that. I was so like stressed out and like thinking this animal was going to climb over top of me while I'm asleep. I was just sitting there staring into the dark roof. Like, I couldn't see it. Yeah, like, we couldn't even sleep. Finally, like, after about a half an hour, so it's, like, almost 1 o'clock by this point, I start to fall asleep. Like, finally, like, Sam and Sophie and I are all in our room, and we're, like, all talking, like, oh, my God, it was the cutest thing, and, like, oh, my gosh, they're so ferocious. They could kill chickens. Like, they could kill anything, and then... Finally, everything gets quiet and we fall asleep. I'm just about to sleep, to sleep and I hear bang! Ah, ah, ah! It starts screaming again and so Sam caught it in the live trap. It, it, we heard the bang of the live trap and then we heard it screaming and he had to get up right away and take it outside because I was so excited I could finally go to sleep. Yeah, but we had to take it outside because once it gets stressed out, it sprays this body odor, horrible, musty, disgusting smell. So Coming back. Yeah, so anyways, he took it out there. He's going to rehome it today. No, he is so super cute. We just can't have him living in our house. So this morning, we are cleaning out Sophie's room. We're like spraying we everything. Apart trying to we catch ripped, it. yeah, we ripped everything apart trying to catch it. But we've been like washing the floor. We washed all inside her I've dresser. I've spraying perfume this whole day. Yeah. And it still stinks. So it's not bad like a skunk where like it's so overpowering. You can just, it's mildly musky. Like you can just mildly smell it. And stronger upstairs than you can't hardly even smell it downstairs mm. but it's disgusting like last night trying to sleep with this thing it was the smell was so gross well molly was the only one who participated she's the only one who came and stayed with us when all of that happened we washed everything in sophie's room we washed all every single piece of clothing that she owned that was in her dresser uh, it still stinks a little in here but uh and sam opened the window for a while then it got really cold so oh. She she is going to be safe to sleep in here tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Until another one comes. 
Okay, so where do you want My your room shelves? Is even more of a mess. Your room's not messy? No, I have too many things on this, so I can't put that there. So it's been like that since Christmas. That breaks oh. easily. Where'd that piece go? Her room is not overly messy. She has right. one chair and it's where she throws everything. Your... The rest of her room is pretty clean. It's just the one chair. It's this. And this. Oh my god, I got Molly hair on it. Oh, so this is the Lego set this that Gabby got for Christmas. This attached to the thing in there and it falls off so easy. And it's anime and it's so cute. You can't fit it on your dresser? No, have you seen it? There's where I put my books and then rocks and everything. Those are erasers. Those are erasers? Yeah. So these are Gabby's rocks. They're, they're crystals. Gone. And she's got her plants and I her, found that for her cappuccino minute stormy night. Always Gabby. Shopping for shoes and Molly. Those are all her pets. Look, I found wow, that you have Gabby. a lot of pets. I found that for Gabby. Oh, what is that? Toothless. It's toothless. Oh, that's really cool too. Okay, so I think you should put a shelf up there. It's already got some little hooks. And then also she has this dresser. And it's got like all her anime characters that she got in her advent calendar, which I think is really cool too. And then she has a car. What kind of car is that? Those are knife holders. That's the car that I got her. Oh, is that a... 1969 Dodge Charger. It's a Charger. Gabby and Sophie got it for her for Christmas. And it is because she has a Charger. It's that falling wall. down. Oh, That's mom. falling down. Mom, you missed all her stuffed animals. All yeah, these little stuffies in there. there. She is with Cappuccino Minute. Okay, so... I say that uh, when we're done today, we get Dad to build a shelf or put a shelf up there for you. Would you like it above your dresser? I think that's the best there, spot. Yeah. We have hooks there. Yeah, I think that's a great spot. No, because when it falls down, it won't be great. <laughs> we'll make him do it so it doesn't fall down. Mm. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't have faith in him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, it's pouring rain. I got this, all this ice built up. Yeah, I'm trying to make a trench so the water goes that way. But there's nowhere for the water to go. It's freezing rain. We're gonna bring the uh, Chino in and put Penny out in the, in the barn area. Yeah, well, see if we can do this. Pouring out, and they don't like being out in the rain, even though they have a shelter. All right, we got an extreme. Rain warning now because the freezing warning has stopped. But uh, yeah, this happens in the spring. Our arena floods. So over there, I built like a trench system, and hopefully the water will go out. I'll have to come back and I uh, have a pump that I'm going to set up to help pump it out. Gabby said, "My coat doesn't look like a raincoat," and you know what? It isn't a raincoat. I'm soaked. Look what you've done to your child. <laughs> she has to walk 17 miles she around the car. Not today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. Like I feel my eyes just being so puffy and so ugh. Like yeah, I just want to sleep. sleep in my room. I try to sleep in Sophie's room. We were watching a movie in her room after we cleaned up her room and I try to sleep because <laughs> Last night was a little too late of a night for me. Anyways, we're headed out now. I do better on less sleep. You do better on less sleep? Yeah, I wake up easier. Yeah, some people do that. We are headed out to do another Costco trip. It's one of our favorite places to go. It is, it's raining, it's supposed to be freezing rain. Everything is like wet and gross and disgusting. You guys know what Sophie and I are into like a bunch of different things. Like if it was just us, we would have every animal out there. Like, we have goats already for sure, huh? Goats are like a huge passion of mine, too. We've done so many baby bottle goats in the past. I just, ugh, but not ready for that. But anyways, we are going out to uh, pick up something, one of our passions. And while we're at it, we're going to go to Costco because it's near there. So stop the video and tell me right now, what do you guys think that we're going to get? Okay, we are home. We did a bunch of shopping. I'm gonna just end this video by showing you what we got, but also what we picked up for our farm. It is that time of year again where we do chickens. Oh no, I don't know if that thing's broken. Okay, it looks like it's, I might have to get a new thermometer. Ah. Anyways, we, we got our incubator. Um, yeah, we do have another one. Let's get that. Good thinking, Sophie. Anyways, we got our, we have our incubator out. 
We got new eggs. These are what they look like. I'm really excited about this So one. we got a variety. Oh, look how dark yeah. it is. I love that So one. we got some black Cooper Morans eggs. Um, we got, like you guys can't tell What's in the camera. One? I don't know. It might be a, just a variation of that. We got a ton of different kinds. We got some Easter eggers. We got some of these little tiny ones right here. Hopefully they hatch. These are Polish. We've had Polish chickens in the past. You can't really tell, but these are green and these three are blue. And these ones are green and this one's green. And then we have like the dark, the dark ones. These ones are dark green. So basically, why are these ones so long? I know. They say that like the shape has to do with what's no. inside. Like you can see, oh, no. we could put a towel in there. No. Anyway, we got 18 of them. And in three weeks, we should have some baby chicks. These are all different breeds that we've, that we've never had before. Oh, and, all of them are different breeds? Yeah. Uh, we had had Easter eggers, but not all of eggers. So it's hard to see because the camera's making them look really bright. Doesn't wanna, there we go. Um. You can't really tell. In the house it looks blue, but it's green. I'm really excited about these really dark ones. Yeah, me too. The baby one. Yeah, I'm excited about that one too. I love the small bantam breeds. That one's the one that has the big puff on it. So, yeah, it has a big puff on its head. So we got 18 chickens. And you guys might remember that... Chicks, actually. Actually, we got 16 eggs. We got... Yeah, we got 18 eggs. 18 eggs. And Sophie, Sophie made a lot of money selling chickens last year. So what we ended up doing was selling a bunch of our baby chickens. Almost all of them, actually. You know where I spent it? The dollar store. Where did she spend the money? At the dollar store. All right, let's do it. Oh, it works. The little, the little thermometer thing there. It worked. Okay. Say goodbye, little eggs. We will see you tomorrow morning. Um, three weeks from today. We should have eggs and we run this thing. Um, we open it and we flip them around three or four times a day. Are you excited? Yeah, I don't do the flipping part. So we're gonna do these eggs. I just wake up one morning. Oh, there's a baby! No, you do flip them sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Um, so we, we're we gonna do these eggs and then we're gonna do another clutch of eggs, uh, some bantam breeds, some silkies, some more silkies, right? Yeah, I love silkies. All right, oh. so a Sam bought, what is this? Apple fritter cereal. Can't believe it, but he did. He bought apple That's fritter the best cereal. Donut to me. We bought more mustard because we needed it. But like, who needs this much mustard? This will last us into the summer. This was only six dollars. Yeah, that was only six dollars. And look, it's a. Um, we got some vitamin C. I got a book. So they got a book. There was only one and eleven there. One yeah. book one, Sh book 11. She's reading a couple series. I got these dark chocolate cherries, which is, are my favorite. And Sam got dark chocolate blueberries. I made him get these. We got toilet paper, we got dog food. I don't even know what else we got. Oh, we got this, this is, we got this. This is Gabby's contribution. She always gets this. She's a, a cho hot chocolate, a holic. Don't you know?